Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and I'm not dead. Yeah, a few of you were messaging me saying, hey, where have all the videos been? And I wasn't really replying, so I apologise for that. I've had some big assignments due for university. I've had to sort out and um, that's kind of put damper on making videos. But I have finished my first year of university. So I can now make videos for you once again. So I'm going to have a video in a couple of days explaining the sort of release schedule over the summer, what I plan to do. Um, but I thought I'd bring you this short video. This is the brand new Citroen DS23 that was added to Forza Horizon this week. And uh, it's a pretty cool car. You unlock this by completing 50% of the season. It's not too difficult, so you should be, able, should be able to do that. And then once you unlock it, this is what you get. It comes in this horrible poo brown colour. <laughs> but we're going to change it up and, uh, yeah, we're going to take this thing racing. So before we do all that, let's just have a little look around the vehicle. Now, this does have uh, some special suspension on it. Those of you um, who know anything about these classic uh, Citroens will know that they have what's called hydro pneumatic suspension, which is basically like self leveling suspension. So, I'm sure you will have seen videos of this on YouTube. If you stand on one corner of the car, it will sag down briefly, but then the hydraulics will automatically adjust the car so it sits level again so that makes this thing a very good rally car surprisingly so that's what we're going to do today we're going to turn this into a rally car and uh, do a little race and see how it performs so let's hop into the garage and see what we've got available in here there is one engine swap i know which is the inline four turbo rally so we'll throw that in there and then we've got some different um drivetrain options Standard is front wheel drive. We can go rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. I'm going to go all wheel drive. And then we do have some splitter options and things. Doesn't really look very good on this car. I know it does give you a bit more performance, but I don't know. It's just not working for me. So I'm going to leave that off there. We've got all the different tyre options. So we've got street, sport, race. Horizon race, which is basically the same with tyre lettering. We've got the snow tyres, which is what we're going to put on the vehicle. We've got drag tyres and even vintage race tyres. So we're going to go with uh, the snow tyres. We're going to put the maximum um, wheel size on that we can, the width. We need as much grip out there as possible. Then we're going to go ahead and slap on all of these drivetrain kind of things in here. And then we're going to go for full brakes on this. Now the suspension, um, you can lower the suspension. And you're probably wondering, okay, so standard it has this hydro pneumatic suspension which is very special to this car. And if you apply one of these uh, different suspension options it will still keep that it will basically just lower it so you don't have to worry about um, you know ruining the vehicle by applying different suspension options it will still work exactly the same as standard so I'm gonna go for the rally suspension because we're going for that rally build we'll go and put some uh, sway bars on there and we'll take out as much weight as possible how much weight do we actually lose so not a whole lot, about 500 pounds. It's not too bad, to be honest. And then we'll go in here and slap on some of these. Now, I want to keep this thing A-class for now. So that is going to be top of A-class. And we might come back in in a minute and do a full nuts build. But um, there we go. I'm going to just change up the tyres because I'm not... Um, or the wheels, sorry. I'm not a huge fan of those. So I'll go through here and find some wheels that fit okay so i found some tires that i quite like or some wheels i should say and uh, now we're just going to have a look at the paint options on this thing so it does actually have advanced painting options which is pretty cool so paint group one is going to be the whole body of the car and paint group two as you could see is going to be the roof which is quite cool actually i do like that 
So I'm going to see what we've got in here. Um, so we've got green. We've got matte blue. We've got black. We've got silver and we have white. Um, I'm kind of a fan of the green, I'm going to be honest. You guys probably knew I was going to go for this one, so I'm going to go with that. But I might just change up the roof to a different colour. Um, it's a shame we can't actually match the green on the rest of the car as well. Um, that looks a bit weird. Maybe we'll just go for... Maybe we'll just leave it white, actually. Then the bonnet option, that is going to be the bonnet there for you. I'm not sure whether this is front engine or rear engine, to be honest with you. I'm guessing by the size of the front of the car, it's probably front engined. But I'm going to leave that. We can't paint the wing mirrors because they're chrome. It doesn't have a spoiler. The wheels we can change. So I'm just going to paint those black. That looks a little bit better. I like that. And we can go ahead and change up the window tint, but I'm not really a huge fan of doing that. So let's save the car and then uh, let's take it to a rally and see how we do with this thing. Alright, here we go. We are at the Lakehurst Woodland Scramble. This has got to be my favourite off-road um, sort of track on the mainland at least, because there are some really, really cool tracks over on fortune island but this is definitely my favorite on here i think it's fair to say we've improved the sound of the citroen by no ends this thing sounds absolutely awesome with that turbo rally engine in there but let's have a little uh, go through this race see how we do hopefully we're going to come out in first place but you can see already that that hydro pneumatic suspension it's absolutely incredible it just keeps the car so flat it's unreal it's almost like you're driving on tarmac when you're driving on dirt it's just it's the weirdest thing but this thing has incredible stability it's not like any other car that i've driven in forza so yeah if you're looking for a nice off-road vehicle the citroen ds23 might be your go-to vehicle and there we go across the line first place and our best lap time was a 116.5 you can see that that is the fastest lap time there but it's incredible it, it beats the other lap times by almost three seconds there you can see the next car behind us the amc gremlin did it in a 1197 so it's almost three seconds faster overall the final race time we were almost five seconds faster which if you're not into racing then that doesn't sound like a lot but if you know anything about racing a second is like a lifetime in racing so the citroen ds23 is an absolutely incredible incredible car if you haven't got this thing yet it's still available till thursday so i'd 100 percent recommend going and getting it even if you don't want to keep the vehicle the resale value of this in a couple of weeks will probably be quite a lot because it's a brand new vehicle well personally i'm going to be keeping mine i love the sort of bullet shape of this thing it's got a few tuning parts not as many as i'd like to see but honestly i wouldn't really want to change too much on this thing anyway and that hydro pneumatic suspension is just unlike any other suspension in forza so if you're looking for something really stable maybe you're just starting out the game then the Citroen DS23 would be the one to go for. And the good thing about that suspension as well, I know I keep banging on about it, but when you're going off-road, it makes the vehicle very stable. So the back end doesn't want to step out on you all the time. So when you're rallying, that could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. It depends how you drive. Personally, I do like the back end to slide around a little bit, but it's still a very very nice car to drive so that is going to be my review and customization of the brand new citroen ds23 in forza horizon 4 let me know what you guys think of this vehicle and stay tuned to the channel for loads more videos coming out very soon hope you did enjoy and i'll see you all in the next video goodbye